Hello everyone, I'm E. Welcome back to my E7 Dishing channel. I'm coming with a new tutorial. I made this sweatshirt for St. Patrick's Day and I would love to share it with you. Hope you'll like it. I'm working for size 1 here as a sample, but you can adjust it to your own size. So let's get started. So let's start by doing our front panel. Grab your white yarn and make a chain equal to the bust divided by two for all size, adult and kid size. And we are going to work with a mini check plate stitch. So we must make it a multiple of six. What I mean of multiple of six is to grow each time with a sequence of six chains. So let's start by making a slip knot. And then chain six. This is one set or one sequence. Again, six, two, three, five, six. This is a set of two. And this is a set of three. So keep adding six chains each time until you reach your desired length or bus divided by two. And you have also to count the number of your chains so you can make the same exact number for the back panel. So let's make our first row. So you have to insert your hook and then fifth chain from your hook. One, two, three, four, five, and you have to make a double crochet. So to make a double crochet, yarn over, insert in the fifth chain, yarn over, so one, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this first five, chain five work as a double crochet. So let's make uh, one more double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now let's chain three, skip three chains, and make a double crochet in the fourth chain. and one double crochet in the second chain and one more in the second in the next chain so you have in total three cha uh, three double crochet so let's chain three skip three again skip three chains and make one double crochet in the next three chains all you have to do is just to keep repeating this sequence until the end of the row okay I'm back so let's make the last double crochet so yarn over insert in the last chain pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two and now grab your green color and attached to your work then for row two chain four and turn and now and now we have to make one double crochet in these three chains okay so yarn over insert lap a loop yarn over and through two yarn over and pull through two this is the first double crochet let's make the second one 
and the third one. And now chain three. And put one double crochet in that chains in these chains of the foundation chain so one two three continue repeating the sequence and I will meet you back in the last stitch so we can um, add a new color okay I'm back and I have made three chains and now let's make a single crochet on top of the last double crochet so insert the hook and yarn over pull through one you have two loops in your hook grab your light gray color and attached then row three chain three turn and this chain three play a role of a one double crochet so then you have to make one double crochet in the next two double crochet of row one so this is the first double and this is the second double chain three now put three double crochet in the next three double and three chain three and put three double crochet again now all you have to do is to keep repeating this sequence until the end of the row and I will meet you back in the end okay I'm at the end of my row three so let's make the last double crochet yarn over insert on top of the last double crochet uh, of row one okay so you have two loops on your hook now grab your white color yarn over and pull through two for row four chain four and turn let's make three double crochet on top of these three uh, double crochet of row two the green row chain three and again three double crochet on top of the three double crochet of row two chain three three double crochet
So keep repeating this until the end uh, of the row. Okay, so I'm back. So let's make a single crochet on top of the chain three. So insert yarn over and pull through one, two loops in your hook, change color and grab the green. Yarn over and pull through two. Now for row five, it's going to be like row three. So chain three, turn and make two, one double crochet on top of these two double crochet in the gray color. Chain three. And one double crochet on top of these three gray double crochet. Continue this sequence until the end and I will meet you back to make the sixth row. Okay, I'm at the end of row five, so let's make the last double crochet where we have to change color. Yarn over and insert your hook on top of the last stitch of the gray row. Yarn over and pull through two. Now change color, yarn over and pull through two. For row six, it's uh, similar to row four, so chain four, turn, three double crochet on top of the white row. Chain three again, make three double crochet on top of the white double crochet. So continue this until the end of the row, and then now all you have to do is just to repeat row three and row four. Until your entire work reach the blouse length minus the armhole depth. So for me the so for me the blouse length is equal to 11.5 and the armhole depth is equal to 3.75 inches. That means I will keep working until my entire work reach 7.75 inches. I just want to suggest even if this stitch is easy to count the number of rows after you finish your work but i will suggest to uh, count the number of your rows while working especially for beginners so you can repeat the same number of rows for the back panel and in this way you prevent any mistake okay so i'm back and i reached my desired length for my sweatshirt and now um we are going to work on the shoulder shape but first you have to figure out the shoulder width so to know your shoulder width you have to follow this equation you take the next circumference you divide it by two and then you add 0 0.5 inch then you will get number x so then the you take the width of your work which is equal to the bus divided by two and reduce from it a uh, number X. And then uh, you will get number Y. So you take number Y and you divide it by two again and you will get number Z. That 
That means, remember that, it's your shoulder width. So, you place, for me, number that is equal to 2 inch. So, I placed 2 stitch markers from each side, and I left from each side 2 inches. Okay? And now, we are going to shape the shoulders. For me, uh, my last row was the repeat of row 4. And now I have to work on the repeat of row 3. So it depends, maybe you end up at the repeat of row 4 or you ended up like me. So because I'm making the repeat of row 3, I will chain 3 and turn and make two double crochet and then chain three again three double crochet and when you reach your marker you remove this marker and you make a single crochet so insert yarn over and pull through one you have two loops on your hook now for me according to my sequence now I have to work with the green color so I will attach my green and I will continue the sequence of my rows. Now I have to repeat row 4. So chain 4 and turn and I will put 3 double crochet in, on top of these three double, uh, 3 white double crochet. chain three and single crochet and change color then repeat of row three chain three and turn again I will make two double crochet So basically you have to just keep repeating these uh, two rows, uh, row 3 and 4, until your entire work from the bottom to the last row reach the desired length of your sweatshirt. So for me, I will do, um, must be 11.5 inches. Okay, so I will keep repeating it until I reach 11.5 and um, also you have to keep in mind to, uh, re uh, to continue counting and, uh, and write down the number of your rows. Okay, I'm back and I'm done with my first shoulder and I cut my yarn and fasten off. Now I'm going to work on my second shoulder for that. My first shoulder, my first row of my first shoulder was, uh, was with the light gray. So I will grab my gray color and attach to the side. I will chain one and then I'm at the repeat of row 3, so I have to chain 3 again, turn, 
and make my stitches so it's similar to the first shoulder Now I reach the stitch marker, I will remove it and put single crochet and now I have to grab the green and work on my second row, chain 3 and turn and continue making my mini check stitch until I will reach the same number of rows made for the first one so for the back panel you make the same number of chain made for the foundation chain of the front panel and you work your mini check stitch and now we are going to work on the side seam for that you bring your uh, front panel and you take your tape measure and you measure your armhole depth from the top to the armhole depth length for me my armhole depth is equal to 3.75 inch so that's mean it's here at this point and i place a marker from both sides now i grab my darning needle and I can work with um, whatever color, uh, maybe the gray or the green, but for me I choose the white to make the seam. And then I will sew this front panel to the back panel. I make a knot. And I will take one loop from the front and one loop from the back. So I will continue sewing until I reach my stitch marker I will cut and fasten off and I will repeat the same for the second side and now we are going to seam the shoulders so bring the same color uh, of your last rows for me it was the, was the green and make a knot and so and attach the front to the back okay until here when you reach this point cut and fasten off repeat the same process for the next shoulder and now we are going to work on the neckline shape for that i have choose the gray color you can choose to make it with any color um, green or the white so i will attach to the side of the color chain one chain two 
chain one again and put one single crochet on top of that double crochet and one single crochet in the next double one single in the next and when you reach the chain three space just put one single crochet in the previous row and now one single crochet on top of the double crochet okay that's it so keep doing one single crochet until you reach this point where we uh, start by making uh, the border of the shoulder okay I'm back and now for uh, these rows of the shoulder we are going to put one single crochet into each row so uh, here I have one row of gray and here I have a row of green so it's hard to see it but uh, you have to pay attention for that so this is a single crochet and here I have a row of white and again green white and gray so you have to do the same for the back panel and when you reach the shoulder just put one single crochet into each row and I will meet you back at the end okay so I'm back and let's join to end this row by a slip stitch to the first single crochet for the second row we are going to work with double crochets so chain two but instead of going in the next stitch you have to skip that one and make a double crochet in the next one and you go back and you do a double crochet in that skipped stitch so you will have this X shape and again so you skip this next one you make a double crochet in the next one and you go back to do a double crochet again skip one stitch make a double crochet in the next stitch make double crochet in the previous stitch so this is uh, the stitch for this row so in the end join with a slip stitch on top of the chain two so for our third row we are going to make slip stitches so to make a slip stitch first chain one to make a slip stitch insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over and pull through all loops again insert yarn over and pull through all loops so do this slip stitch all around and at the end um, slip stitch to the chain one cut and fasten up so as you see I made my first sleeve and it's a special uh, sleeve it's not that hard but it's uh, it's a little bit um, not made in a normal way anyway so let's work together the second one so grab your uh, your uh, color uh, that you worked uh, your neckline so for me it was the gray and attached to the 
आर्म हो चेन वन एंड नाउ फॉर मी माय फर्स्ट माय सेकंड पोर्शन द शोल्डर पोर्शन वाज मेड फ्रॉम एट रोज एट रोज इन द Uh, in the for the front panel and eight rows for the back panel so in total i made um 16 rows um so the rule here it's to put two single crochet into each row but um it's better uh, to know how many uh, single crochet you must do before uh before uh you put your single crochet uh, into each row because it's really hard sometimes to um know uh, where in which row you are because this stitch it's it's tricky a little bit so the rule is to uh take your total number okay of rows for the front and the back and you multiply it by 2 so for me i made 16 rows front and back i will multiply it by 2 i will get 32 that's mean i have to make 32 single crochet so let's chain one again and put 32 single crochet all around and it really doesn't matter how you distribute your single crochet but keep them keep the distance equal okay so this is 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 6 okay so it's better also to make for the front panel the same um, uh, for the front panel the half Uh, the number of your single crochet and you you put the other half on the back panel okay so at the end when you reach this point just slip stitch to that uh, first single crochet and once i'm done i want you back so i'm back and now uh, we are going to make our second row so chain 5 and slip stitch into next into the first stitch into the first single crochet and then slip stitch in the next single crochet again chain 5 slip stitch in the next single slip stitch in the next chain 5 so all you have to do is to repeat on this pattern chain 5 and don't skip any stitch just make a slip stitch too okay so at the end join to the first chain and now after you joined with a slip stitch to the first chain let's chain one and we are going to work the third row so we are going to put three single crochet in that chain 5 space so let's make first one second and third then chain 2 and again make 
another three single crochet in the same spice. And now let's put one slip stitch in that first slip stitch made in the previous row. Again, make three single crochet in the next chain five space, chain two, three single crochet in the same space, And one slip stitch in that first slip stitch. So this is the pattern for this row. At the end, just join with a slip stitch to that chain one. Okay, so when you finish your border of the armhole, just cut your yarn. And now we are going to work on the sleeve itself and the sleeve it's worked separately and so for that you have to make a chain using the white yarn and this chain uh, must be equal to the armhole depth by 2 so for me the armhole depth it's equal to 3.75 by 2 it's equal to 7.5 inch and remember this chain it's worked with a multiple of six. Okay, so let's make a slip knot. And I will do my chain. And I will meet you back when I finish. Okay, so I'm back and I made a chain equal to the first sleeve. And my first sleeve, it was made from seven sets of six, six chains uh, so now i will work with you the first four rows you already know the stitch but i will make with you the first rows so let's make a double crochet in the fifth chain from your hook So let's make uh, one more double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now let's chain three, skip three chains, and make a double crochet in the fourth chain. and one double crochet in the second chain and one more in the second in the next chain so you have in total three cha uh, three double crochet so let's chain three skip three again skip three chains and make one double crochet in the next three chains so keep repeating this pattern to the end I want to make the last double crochet so yarn over insert pull through one three loops in your hook yarn over and pull through two now attach your, the green color chain four turn and let's make three double crochet in the next three chain of the foundation chain chain three and continue until the last stitch where I will meet you back to change 
to attach the gray color so I'm back and I have chain 3 and I'm going to put one single crochet on top of that double crochet of the previous row so insert yarn over and pull through one you have two loops in your hook bring your okay finally I found the head of this yarn and I will attach to my work and let's chain three turn and make one double crochet on top of the second double crochet of the white row and one double crochet in the next double chain three and make one double crochet in the next Three double crochet of the first row so this is the pattern you already know it and I will meet you back at the end to make the last row together and now we are going to make our last stitch of the third row so yarn over insert the last double crochet Pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and change color. So grab the white yarn, yarn over, pull through two. So for the row four, chain four, turn and make three double crochet. on top of the green row chain three again three double crochet on top of the green row so now all you have to do is just to repeat row three and row four until your entire work from the bottom and uh, until the last row made measure uh, the sleeve length minus two inch for the chart sleeve length is also available in the in, on my pinterest account so i completed my work and uh, I have reached the same number of rows that I made for the first sleeve. Uh, it was 26 rows and now uh, we are going to work on the border of our sleeve. For that, let's chain one. And turn and where you have a chain three space let's make a single crochet on top of the previous double crochet and where you have a double crochet just put single crochet on top again single crochet in the previous double crochets and single crochet on top of the double crochet of this row so complete this row and I will meet you back so for the next row we are going to work with a half double crochet increases so let's chain two turn and for, to make a half double crochet yarn over insert in the first stitch yarn over pull through one three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two 
So the next half double crochet will be placed in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert in the same stitch, yarn over, pull through one, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Let's make two half double crochet in the next stitch. And two half in that next. And two half into each stitch across. Now we are going to seam both sides of our sleeve together. Okay, so let's start from the upper part. Insert your needle. One loop and one loop from the next side. And make a knot. So all you have to do is just to connect these both sides together. At the end, uh, you might change color, okay, and use a green one to connect both sides, or you can leave your white yarn. On the wrong side of both pieces, we are going to connect the sleeve to the armhole. Now, um, let's bring your white yarn it's better to use two strand of yarn to make it more uh, strong so let's attach the yarn to any stitch and then to the uh, and then insert your needle in the middle of your fan and make a knot for the next two stitches just insert the needle in the sleeve side and don't insert in the armhole one and two now insert in the next and then connect it to the middle of your fan. Again, make two just on the sleeve side. The third, you have to connect it to the point, to the middle of your fan. So one, two, and three, connect to the middle of the thumb. Okay, so when you reach the end, cut and fasten off. And now we are going to make our applique beer and it's totally optional to add it or no. So let's make a chain. Equal to the length that you want your uh, glass of beer to be. Okay, so I made 2.5 inches of chains and now we are going to start first row of half double crochet for that you have to chain two 
yarn over insert your hook in the third chain from your hook yarn over and pull through one three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three again yarn over insert in the next chain yarn over pull through one chain yarn over pull through all chains and so on so this is a row of half double crochet okay so for our second row let's chain two turn and we are going to make half double crochet back loop only so yarn over insert in that back loop yarn over pull through one three loops in your hook yarn over pull through three it's the same just you have to insert in that back loop so keep making half so keep making back loop half double crochet across and now we are just going to repeat row two back loop half double crochet okay so keep repeating row two until uh, you make enough rows uh, that you want the width of your glass so now we are going to work on the border of the glass so it's made of single crochet so for that let's chain one and put one single crochet into each row two Hmm. Okay, and um, when you reach this point just put one single crochet into each stitch too okay so keep doing this at the end join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made cut your yarn so now we are going to work on the holder of the glass so i will leave from uh, the upper portion of uh, the glass a few stitches and uh, for me i will leave the three stitches from the upper portion and the bottom of my glass and i will join my yarn in the fourth stitch chain one now let's make a chain big enough to curve it in a shape of a holder okay so I think this is a good length and now let's join to the glass leaving the same number of stitches of the bottom I left three stitches so 
here I will leave three and I will join into the fourth. Join it with a slip stitch. And let's do another slip stitch in the next stitch. Now we are going to work on this chain making single crochets. So keep making one single crochet into each chain. Okay, so I'm back and I'm done with my holder. And let's slip stitch to that next stitch. And for me, I found that it's enough to make just one row of chain. If not, you can add one more. So I will cut and uh, fasten off and we are going to make the foam. So for the foam, use your white yarn and attach it to the middle of your glass. Okay, chain one and turn. Now let's put one single crochet into each stitch until you reach the holder. So this is our first row. For the second row, let's chain one and put one single crochet into each stitch until this point. Don't bake this part. So for our third row, we gonna start decreasing. So chain one and turn. And now let's decrease two single crochet in the first and second stitch. So to make us decrease, insert the hook in the first stitch, yarn over and pull through one. You have two loops on your hook. Insert in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through one. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Now you're gonna Continue making just one single crochet into each stitch until you are left with two with the last two stitches. Okay, so I'm at the end. Now I'm going to decrease two single crochet also. Okay, so now all you have to do is just to make two single crochet uh, rows without any decrease and one single crochet decrease row from both sides. So you have to decrease two from both sides. Okay, so two single crochet rows without decrease and one single crochet row with decrease two from each side. So I repeated uh, my sequence one more time. In total, I made just six rows. Now we are going to uh, work on the shape of the form. For that, you have to um, attach your yarn in this corner. Chain one. And let's make one single crochet into each side row. And then when you reach the top, put one single crochet into each stitch across.
then working on the side row with one single crochet and then on this side also side of the glass this is was the foundation row so now let's chain one turn and we are going to start shaping so now we are going to make a uh, on this side of the glass we are going to make a mini foam for that you have to put one single crochet in the first stitch and then one half in the same place and then make one half in the next stitch one single crochet in the same stitch skip the next stitch make slip stitch then put one single in the next one half in the same place then one half in the next space and one single in the same space skip one stitch make slip stitch in the next stitch so this was a mini uh, mini uh, foam so we are going to still making these foam mini foams until you reach the upper part okay i will make it one more time so i'm back and now we are going uh, to make a bigger foam for that you have to make one single crochet in the first stitch and then two half double crochet in the same place and one double crochet in the same place then make a double crochet in the next stitch two half in the same place and one single crochet in the same place skip the next stitch and make a slip stitch in the next stitch now also repeat this foam until you reach this part where you have to work again and mini stitches the uh, mini foams so i will work with you the second big foam one more time so one single one two half one double all in the same stitch then one double in the next stitch two half and one single in the same place skip the next stitch and slip stitch in the next one now all you have to do is just to for this side you have to repeat the same uh, mini foam uh, for as you made for this part. okay when you arrive to the end just cut and fasten up and now you stabilize your beer on top of your sweatshirt using the sewing pins and all you have to do is just to sew it and uh, that's it i hope it was clear and if you really like these videos please don't forget to like it comment share it and thank you for your watching bye bye